Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video, and today it's episode number four, update 19.2, and Alpha versus Alpha. Uh, so this is the new home screen. If you've not updated, I have literally just updated now, um, held off all day just so I can make this video. Um, so this is my first look at update 19.2. Uh, now, with 19.2, we have got, um, well, a new home screen. So you can actually click anywhere, go on to events, and then you've got a little home screen up here in your top um, left-hand corner, and it will take you instantly back to there. Um, that's, I suppose, quite good. Uh, I'm sure I will find a use for it at some point. Um, of course, you have got the supercharged passes that have dropped for Season 8. Um, the $22.99 one is for the supercharged one, and the $6.99 one is for the premium one. Um, and if you are new-ish still to the game and you don't know what they are for, if you go into the Expo collection, um, you will see that this is the premium one here. Um, you can get a carbon fiber, but you have to have the token here. You have to have got the pass to enter. Um, it is all Audi, Jaguar and Porsche. There's a good bit of money up for grabs. Um, you've already seen one carbon fiber. Um, saloon, grab bag. Um, and then there's a couple of slots here, a bit more cash, uh, another ceramic, another ceramic, and then finally another carbon fiber. And guys, I've got to say, I do believe that these are good value for your money. Um, you know, if you think that one carbon fiber costs you... Well, you can't get one carbon fiber for 1,100 gold, and that's 899. Um, you have to buy. So, if you were to get a carbon fiber, it'd cost you just over 12 pound in UK money because you'd have to buy the 899 one. Uh, actually, it'd be nearly nearly 15 quid. Let's call it 15 quid to get a carbon fiber, and for the value, you get two carbon fibers, and um couple of premiums and some cash and um, for the supercharge which is 23 pound in uk money uh, you get three carbon fibers i believe um the money is double as well uh so if you get 100k in the first one i think it's not quite 100k um you'll get 200k in the second one but whatever it is second carbon fiber midway through a couple of premiums couple of slots and then a final carbon fiber right at the end. So I do believe uh, that they are good value for money. Um, but the choice is yours as well. Um, I can't believe it's been a month since that all messed up. Um, and of course, the Expo ladder, which is free, um, has started. Um, I've collected some of the tokens to begin with, but I'm not. I'm not doing any uh, anything until. I get the first pack. Um, so there's a couple of ceramics, three ceramics, uh, a carbon fiber, four ceramics, and two carbon fibers, and that's for free. All you've got to do is log in and play every day and collect to the experience points if you are newish to the game. Of course, if you're already um, a bit of a seasons player, you kind of know that. Um, the next car wow... Um, challenges underway and so far it's been car realistically and not a great set of challenges so far really really boring um yeah so that's what's going on in the challenge world at the minute not a great deal um but with update 19.2 comes a new tag and i believe it's actually 
right at the top, it is. So it's Racing Royalty. Now, I've not actually had a look at this as of yet. Um, like I said, I've literally just, um, just updated. Um, so Racing Royalty, looks like we've got McLarens. We've got Peugeots, Alfa Romeos, Hondas, Porsches, Bentley. Uh, Mercedes, McLaren, Ruff, Corvette, even Holden there. Um, Bentley again. I've got a few that I possibly want to upgrade, but for me, actually, the tag looks pretty tasty. Um, uh, how many legendaries have I got? Two, four, six, eight, nine legendaries that meet the bill. Um, one, two, three, four. Five, six, six epics that I'm keeping, and this one is on. Um, oh, actually, no, it looks like I'm keeping that one. So, seven epics for me. Um, and I presume I've probably got most of the ultras, but we'll have a, a goosey at the, the whole lot in a minute. Um, what cars are gonna be essential at the moment? I really, really don't know, but being that they've got quite a... How, how many have they got? So let's click all cars. Um, so they've got 18 common, 14 uncommon, 14 rare. Um, it kind of makes me feel that actually the lower selection might be um, warranted you guys grabbing and upgrading. Um... Oh, man, I want that. The Abarth 750 record car. That looks pretty beast. Um, so, um, what is that? Oh, yeah, the Austin Ambassador. So, I haven't got any of the Austins, guys. Um, and the Abarth uh, Monoposto record car as well. Um, be nice to see them given out. So, right, let's have a look. What we got rare? What's going to be important rare? Um, I think that's quite a strong rare car. Used to be, um, used to be uncommon. Uh, I quite like that one. I do quite like the uh, the Diablo. Um, that's all. You know, it's a medium ride height. It's got very poor handling, um, but actually, it does the job of really low level. I do use that now and again in clubs. Um, there's nothing here I can really pinpoint. It's kind of like cars to keep. The Lancia is not too bad, standard tyres. Um, I'm better off showing you what they are um, maxed, and you can see kind of like how they look. Um, we've got the Skyline with standard tyres. The Subaru has been around a few times in different challenges. So hopefully you guys have got some of these locked and ready to go. Um, is that a new photo? I don't remember seeing that, Subaru Rex. Have they put some new photos in this update and not told anyone? Uh, well, that'd be interesting to see. Uh, there's, guys, I can't really say there's a lot here. Uh, the the Cornet Super B, uh, not bad. The the Mazda is not bad as well. That's both them two. Um, sorry, that one's standard tyres. Um, there's nothing here really that that stands out. That'd be a good little dragger, I suppose, for the challenge. Uh, five point four. Rare cars. Now I do like the Mazda. That's got four-wheel drive standard tyres, so that could be important. Again, it's another one that's been tagged um, previously. The Panda, uh, four-wheel drive, off-road tyres and high ride height. That might be a key car, guys. Um, so don't rule that out. If you haven't got one, I would suggest maybe saving one and having it ready. Uh, then we've got some more MX-5s, um, so take your pick which one. I believe this one could be useful, though it is standard tyres. I've got two of them built, three, th two, three. Um, the Holden might 
be rather good uh, for it. I've got one of each, uh, 323 and a 332. Um, the Porsche is very strong as well, actually, as a dragger. Um, yeah, 332 build. The C4 is very good as well. 323 build on that one. Um, that would be a Jag. Uh, it is a Jag, of course, it's a Jag. Um, medium ride height standard tyres, that could play a big part in the challenge as well. Um, so just keep some of these in mind, guys. Get them wish listed and get them ready to be built for this uh, racing royalty whenever it happens. We've got the Lamborghini, um, the Buick Regal. Um, and, and really nothing else. Um, super air wise is fantastic. Uh, I might have to upgrade that now. Uh, ultra air wise, um, so the Visconti, uh, I have been told I did say it right. Um, I did read your comment that four wheel drive could be important. Uh, and then I've got the Holden, which is completely stock. The other Holden, which is completely stock. And the Flying Spur, which is completely stock. Uh, but that's also got the As Seen on YouTube tag. So that should be, um, you know, useful for me to build anyway. Is it medium ride height? So it is. Uh, so that's going to be a good rain car. Um... What have we got? Epics. So what am I missing? Ultra-wise, I'm missing probably one of the ugliest cars in the game. That's probably why I've never kept it. Um, yeah. So actually, I'm only missing... Sorry, I had to yawn then. <laughs> A couple of Bentleys for Epic. And... Oh a GT40, a McLaren F1, and one of the best, I think is one of the best Porsches in the game. It was at one point anyway, uh, the 911 GT2 RS. Other than that, actually, I don't need to do anything with this tag. Um, so that is Racing Royalty Tag. Just save as many as you can. Um, the BMW is medium ride height, um, as is the Megane. Uh, like I said, that one's a four-wheel drive, so that could help you in the wet, certainly. Um, ultra and over. Same as the Commodore. That's I think that's medium ride height too, but it is. Um, so four-wheel drive, medium ride height should help. And then the rough. Um, very quick. That will be a very good test bowl car for the challenge as well. So just bear these ones in mind, guys, and see what you can find and see what you can build. I've got about a handful there to, to work on um, and have some fun with. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of wraps up the 19.2 stuff, apart from the fact that the Laguna Seca Raceway has been added to the game, um, yet to see it in action. Um, so we'll see when that happens. Uh, now, I want to talk about what happens in an update as well. Um, Duck in my Discord uh, said it might be a good idea for me to say what kind of happens. So you can, you can be in a bracket, and when the update happens, your bracket can split. Uh, now, currently, that's where I look like at the moment what's going on in my bracket um as you can see it's 91 out of 100 now i could play a ticket now um and actually be thrown into a completely different bracket or the bracket that was before um without it so there's one hour and seven minutes left uh let's let's see what happens so i'm still using exactly the same hand as my previous video in the last episode. Um, so I don't know if this guy was in mine before. But we'll see what happens when the ticket is played.
if anything, it's like a cheeky way to get um, a better pack and um, higher rankings. Okay, so it has actually put me in, I presume, the same brackets before because that guy was in mine um, yesterday, the, the guy in second. Um, but uh, there is actually only 11 in this bracket. Oh, that would be interesting. I think I did see that guy actually in the bracket earlier, and I didn't play it because he's got that that Peugeot on the all surface better race. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. So we are going to move over in a second to the Alpha event as well, and we'll see what's happened with that, whether or not that split as well. As I did enter that one earlier, um, and I was something like 7-1, but I don't know. I've not, uh, like I said, I've not been on since the update. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here and whether or not um, more players come in and whether or not I can keep that number one position. The daily event. Let's have a look, see what happens here. Oh, yeah, I've definitely been put into like a bit of an easier one because, yeah. The, yeah, this is rather easy, um, if I'm honest. Okay, so it's actually put me in a position where I'd be second. Um... Now, whether or not these guys were um, in the same bracket as me before, I don't know. Can I beat this guy? Is he built a 2 3? Th no, he hasn't. Oh, he is. He's building a 2 3 3 one. Um, that will be interesting on dirt because you generally find that they don't tend to work so well 233 builds they're more for dry <laughs> if it beats me i will be quite surprised at that um it's very very close considering that he's not fully maxed it as well i know he's got one more point of handling oh it is very close that very close indeed <clears throat> I do like to try and take the top spot if I can. Um, I don't think that guy will be too happy with me. Ah, so anyway, guys, um, we will go and look at the, the alpha event. But while you're here, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and continue to follow me for more Top Drive videos. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this update. Um, I'm going to go that way this time, see what happens. What do you think of the new tag? And what do you think of the season passes? Are you a fan of the season passes? Um, or are you just going to skip it completely? Okay, so Alpha event. Um, now, this is currently where I am. We'll see what happens when the bracket splits in a moment. But um, 
six and one, and this is the garage I'm using. Now, there is one city street, so you do need to bring a medium ride height car. Um, the best being the Ford Escort, unfortunately, it's one I don't have. Um, the mile long drags, the far bound is going to be your best, um, followed by stuff like the Resvani. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my far bound maxed. Um, my, hold on, that's medium ride height. No, it's not. It was. It was medium ride height, I'm sure it was. Or have I got that wrong? Can anyone confirm, was this Porsche medium ride height prior to the update? I'm sure it was. Um, I don't know. I'm just looking at what I could take medium ride height, and there's not a great deal here. Um, it's going to have to just be the Porsche, unfortunately. So let's see what happens anyway. So that on the city streets now. Mine is built uh, 233, I believe. Yep. Uh, and theirs isn't maxed, so that's not really a problem. Um, that way, that way, and that way. Now, guys, you are more than welcome to come and join my Discord server. The link is down below in the description. Um, pop in, say hello. You know, we are friendly in there, so more the, the more the merrier. Okay, so this is what's happened now. I have been put in into this bracket. I don't know if this is a if this is the same bracket or. Um, a different bracket, I don't know. There's only 10 players. The guy at the top's got 12 and nil. Um, you'll probably stay 12 and nil with that as well, because uh, unfortunately, I don't have the far bound maxed, and I don't have the Ford Escort. Um, I think they're two kind of key cars for this event. Um, so I'm not going to take him on. He's only got 22,000 trophies as well. Um, that's kind of crazy for that. He's got 96,000. Uh, I could probably beat two, three. I could probably beat three out of the five there. Uh, and that one's rather easy. I, again, it, it, you know, it feels like everyone's got the escort, except for me. <laughs> That's something I just, I've never found one. Um, would like to find one, of course. Uh, but no, it's never, it's never graced at my garage. Uh, and you know, when you've, you've got a hole in your garage that you know everyone's got, or it feels like everyone's got. That's one of them. Uh, the other one is the Morgan race car, uh, which let me show you. Um, yeah, so there's a few gaps in my garage which I'd like to find. It's certainly the that is one of my most wanted. Uh, never found the Cosworth, um, certainly now it's medium, it's just like what the old Evos used to be, that is another one missing from my garage. Uh, that seems to elude me, no matter what. I cannot find that, but that's still only early days. Uh, but I found three of them, um... That I've never found. That I've never found. 
that I've never found either. Um, so some of these, like these are holes in my garage where I'm like, yeah, these are important ones. For me, they are anyway. Um, I quite like the look of the Ford. And this Morgan, um, one of my biggest holes I feel in the garage as well. Uh, that too, that's quite good. The 911 RSR, that's another very strong one. Um, just, you know, little pockets of, of important cars that seem to be missing no matter what, um, I do. Um, this one as well, I do really want to get my hands on that, but no, it just seems to elude me. Um, other than that, I feel actually, oh, there we go. Yeah. The Ford Escort. So yeah, a few pockets that I'm missing. Uh, now do I feel I'm going to get top three in this one, possibly? Um, that would be, I want to see how the Super Blower does. Uh, unfortunately, I just think that the Super Blower is not going to be massively strong, unfortunately. So we're going to go Super Blower against the Resvani. Uh, now I'll tell you what I have seen. Um, I have seen the the BAC mono or the back mono. I like to call it the back mono. Um, I have seen one maxed. It's something like two point two and a hundred and nine. It's. Uh, it's certainly a scary looking car. I don't think I'll have mine maxed anytime soon. Oh, but you never know. You never know. So the Audi loses to the Resvani. That's kind of expected. And then, unfortunately, these guys had to take quite a a poor car to the event um, after having such a pretty good hand for the rest of it. So, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Please let me know um, how you feel about this update 19. Uh, for me, I'm glad that there's no new cars. Um, oh, look at that. We're winning. We're winning at the moment. We'll see how that hang, uh, holds on for the next 13 hours. Um, I'm glad there's no new cars. I do like the fact that there's going to be new track sets. And my presumption is come the next Tri-Series, it will be included in that um and if you are going for the season passes let me know what you pull from the packs um as and when i decide to do them i will show the packs as well and that's it guys uh not much else to say tonight thank you very much for being here have a great day wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you next time for another Top Drive video. Take care. Bye-bye.